Corrosion is a very real and very difficult part of owning an aluminium boat, especially if your boat, like Chuffed, did not have anodes when you bought it. So this episode, uh, basically I'm just going to talk about the types of corrosion and why you definitely need anodes on a metal boat. So the first type of corrosion that occurs and the most common type is simple corrosion, which is when the metal is exposed to oxygen, which causes a reaction. On an aluminium boat, it forms aluminium oxide, which is a white powder-like substance that forms pretty soon after you sand it, almost instantaneously. Now, aluminium oxide is actually good for an aluminium boat because it creates a protective coating, like a powder coating over it. Within reason, as you saw in my tanks, they have way too much aluminium oxide in them because the process was sped up. Aluminium oxide forms when the molecules on the surface of the metal degrade and combine with oxygen. This surface oxide helps protect the lower layers of metal from degradation. And thankfully, this type of corrosion normally takes decades to cause any type of weakness. However, you do see built up areas of aluminium oxide in severe cases of corrosion as well, just like in my poor aluminium water tanks. This protective layer is why we leave Chuff's sides bare. Above the waterline, the oxide layer is enough to protect her. Now, many of you will have heard the word electrolysis. And as you probably guess, it's got to do with electricity. So it's a word that's used really, really commonly though, that doesn't quite describe exactly what's happening. So for an aluminium boat, there's two main things that are happening. One is galvanic corrosion. And that's where two metals, two dissimilar metals are in contact particularly if those two metal solutions are submerged or at the very least coming in contact with an electrolyte solution, which of course salt water is. So even on deck where I've got stainless steel fitted to the aluminium, as soon as that gets splashed with some salt water, it's considered to be an electrolyte bath and we start getting galvanic corrosion. Aluminium is unfortunately a bit of a wimp when it comes to galvanic corrosion, with most other metals having a higher voltage. So let's use an example to help explain it. If I had used copper through holes instead of the lovely true design, we would have had a huge problem. Copper has a potential of around negative 300 millivolts. Aluminium has a potential of around negative 800 millivolts, making it the more negative metal. When immersed in an electrolyte solution, such as salt water, these two different metals form a battery, with the aluminium becoming the anode, or the more negative one, and the copper becoming the cathode. Over time, the aluminium gives up its excess of electrons, sending these ions over to the cathode, eventually eating the aluminium away. The other thing that happens, especially in aluminium boats or any metal boat, is actual straight electrical current that runs through your boat. That is what has likely happened to Chuff that's caused all of these pitting holes in her, where basically anywhere that our anti-foul had been chipped and she had been exposed to salt water, it provided an exit point for any stray electricity running through her hull. Doesn't necessarily mean that electricity is coming from chuffed. Sometimes it's because she's in a marina and the electricity is actually coming from the other boats and is entering chuffed through those holes. So that's where, again, having your anodes is so, so important because they will get sacrificed before chuffed will. The best way to protect against electrolysis, whether it's from galvanic corrosion or corrosion from stray current, is to put as much distance between the aluminium and the other metals or electricity. For chuffed, this meant really thick bottom paint to ensure the metal never came into contact with the lovely electrolyte solution that is salt water. You can probably hear that we're going really hard in the tanks at the moment. So I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about how to treat the corrosion once it's happened. We first cleaned out every last tiny little fleck of aluminium oxide, which was hundreds of hours of work. Just ask Jim until we got a shiny bright aluminium base to start with. We then used a zinc phosphate etch primer, which not only adheres really well to aluminium, but also provides corrosion protection. 
With this on, we put on our first layer of high build primer and filled all the little holes before applying more and more and more primer, building a really thick layer before applying a copper-free eco-friendly anti-foul. A similar process was done in the tanks, which I'll talk about more in a future episode. So we now have areas installed to attach our anodes to. The anodes we are using for an aluminium boat are zinc. And the reason we're using zinc is because zinc is a less noble metal than aluminium, which means that it will sacrifice itself before chuff starts to sacrifice. Zinc anodes are more negatively charged than aluminium. And so they start giving up their electrons before aluminium does in the presence of other metals or any stray electricity. They sacrifice themselves for the love of aluminium boats, just like I do. So I hope you've all enjoyed this uh, very minor and simple science talk. Um, it's a pretty confusing topic talking about electrolysis and corrosion, especially in aluminium boats. And there's a huge amount of differing information, especially on the internet, and not all of it is correct. So when you're doing your research, always double check your facts. And I hope I kind of helped explain in a simple way what's basically been going on with Chuffed. And the good news is, with new anti-foul and all these pretty new zinc anodes, we shouldn't have this problem in the future. We've also traced down any stray electrical leaks, which we only had one very minor one from the antenna going up the mast. So she should be protected and happy from now on. Yay! All right, until next time, stay chuffed, everybody. Good afternoon from the boatyard. Just wanted to end this video with a very special thank you to everybody who's donated for, to our Surfers for Strays fundraiser. Um, I had to actually re-record this because my original thing was asking people to donate and we already reached the, um, yeah, reached the fundraising goal really quickly, which is just so, so amazing. We're so incredibly grateful. Um, Natalie, who's up at Surfers for Strays already, is also incredibly grateful. We're gonna be buying heaps of flea and tick products, heaps of medicine. Um, yeah, really excited. And of course, a huge thank you to everybody who's a patron. Um, we obviously couldn't do this without you guys. You guys are what keep us going day to day, that keeps our treatments of all our little animals here underway, and of course of Chuffed. So yeah, big thank you to everybody who supports us. We really appreciate it. Um, patrons do get live updates. Um, usually we try and do it weekly at the moment from the yard. They get to see the boat in all her glory as she gets closer and closer to the water. So yeah, if you've been thinking of joining, please do. And until next time, stay chuffed and I hope you enjoyed the episode.